time to hear from his manager, Aaron Boone. The manager's report is brought to you by Geico. Aaron, what stood out to you about the way Corey Kluber was throwing the ball this afternoon? Uh, his changeup. I mean, that's that's as good a changeup as he's flashed, and he had it all game, obviously, with a lot of lefties and switch hitters in their, their lineup. It's something that really played well for him. I thought the depth on it was excellent. The feel for it was excellent. And because really it probably took him a few innings to really get that feel with the breaking ball and the changeup, you know, served served him really well today. Um, but just just on the attack, off the barrel for the most part, and and obviously, uh, I mean that's that's about as good an eight outing performance as you can have right there. Kyle said on the field that uh, Corey Kluber had been working on that change up a lot. What's different about the way that pitch is playing? Well, I, I just think the consistency of it today and that he was able to lean on it as much as he was. I, I mean, if you go back and look at some of the swings and misses on it, and, and I mean the arm action, but the depth of that pitch was excellent. And I think that's been a pitch that over the years for him has been a little in and out, not something that he leans on real heavy. But today it was it was it was really a special pitch for him, I thought. And just how encouraged are you by what you've seen from the rotation last turn? Yeah, it's been it's been really good. Um, you know, it's it squares with what we've been seeing. I, I look, I know, I know, it wasn't perfect necessarily out the gates, but we're still seeing it from really all the guys behind Garrett. Um, I felt like we're really close to 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 stringing together some really strong outings and and we're starting to see it now and it's uh really cool to see Corey go out there and pitch that well and and pick up his hundredth win that's pretty neat tom merriam please unmute Aaron, your feelings on getting the first sweep of the season uh it's good i mean it's always good to you know on getaway day or you're going into an off day obviously um you know to to play well and win um you know we we you know started to play better I, i'll say it again we're not where we think we're going to get to we we think we think we can still play much better baseball but um you know some start things are starting to square up the bat quality you know the defense uh obviously the, the pitching's kind of leading the way for us here but you know w we knew Obviously, we're scuffling a little bit and, and coming into this 13 day stretch, um, you know, to play some winning baseball uh, definitely feels good. And hopefully now we can enjoy this off day. But knowing we got a really good Houston team coming in and, and, and got to get after it again starting Tuesday. Go next to Ken David. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, similar to what you see, you said, things are starting to square up. I mean, you, you uh, just your curiosity over facing a, a team as good and, and accomplished as the Astros. Yeah, they're playing really well. Um, they're pitching really well. Um, obviously, we know about their lineup and what they're capable of. So, uh, you know, it's, you know, we look forward to, to them coming in and, and know we're going to have to go play good baseball to 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 keep this thing rolling and you're aiming much higher as you said is there any stabilizing factor for you in getting back to 500 it's been a few weeks um uh, it's better than being under that's for sure <laughs> um but i don't know look I, you know even even i think when we're the most down and things aren't going great um i do i do know our group at at its core has a lot of confidence and and we know we're going to start getting it going and uh, we're definitely moving in that direction now, but uh, we also understand we got to, you know, keep the pedal, keep pedal to the metal. Yes, Brian Hope, please unmute. Aaron, you've been around Corey now for a few months. Um, you know, just how, what would you describe it's like to watch him operate on a game day, uh, just seeing him in the dugout? Um, you know, it's quite consistent with who he is all the time. You know, obviously he's a little understated and, you know, quiet and methodical and, you know, workmanlike and, you know, very routine oriented. Um, you know, but he's very similar in and out of game day, frankly. Um, you know, he's a very nice guy. <laughs> um, but he's he's not – you know, he, he doesn't go into a different character all of a sudden when he's pitching on game day. You know, he's he's fairly approachable and, um, um, you know, very consistent in who he is every single day. 
Were you able to get a smile out of him after this one? Yeah, you get some smiles out of him. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Laura Albanese, you have the next question. Go ahead. Hey, Aaron, just two things. I know he had limited opportunities, but what do you think of Gio Urshela at shortstop? And uh, do you foresee using him there in the future? I thought he was re he was really strong. He had, what, probably two or three plays out there, you know, handled them like I expect Gio to. You know, he can pick up a grounder. So that's, that's something that comes easy to him. Um, yeah, I mean, on occasion, you know, he'll, he'll – you know, obviously I plugged him in there today with, with Glaber down. Uh, so, I mean, I, I don't have any reservations about moving him over there uh, in a, you know, for a game uh, here and there if, when I'm giving GT a rest. And uh, I guess the second thing, uh, this is the first time the Astros are coming back since everything became official with their scandal. Uh, do you feel like there's any residual resentment there? Um, and what do you think the reception is going to be like? I, I don't know. I mean, we're look. We, we're we're trying to win ball games. You know, we're trying to play really good baseball, and and we know we got a good team coming in, and you know, we're starting to play better and and move the needle about where we want to get to, and and we've got now six more home uh, games on this homestand, and you know, we need to go out and play well, and and not really get caught up in in all that stuff. Go next to Brian Clark. Yeah, Aaron, you mentioned how good Corey's uh, changeup was. Did you see anything that was almost like it had followed up from how impressive he was in Baltimore? Like, did that build on what we saw today and just sort of continue that way? Um, I, I thought he was better today. Uh, you know, I think in Baltimore, while he pitched really well, you know, he's still, you know, that, you know, I, I think he, what he pitched into the seventh in Baltimore, I believe. Um, you know they they squared up some balls pretty good on him that third time through the order today it was it was complete command from jump street you know other than walking ramos you know where he lost the zone for about you know four or five pitches there um he was just in command he was he was locating he had you know four pitches going with the sinker the cutter the breaking ball and the change up and, you know, when they were able to put the ball in play, largely with the exception of a couple balls off the barrel, he was he was off the barrel. Like, so that was, you know, that was a guy that was in control of the outing. Take a couple more. Greg Joyce, go ahead. Aaron Hughes at, I think, 93 pitches after seven innings. Was there any debate that you would get the eighth or was it the command just, uh, you know, telling you everything you needed to know? Um, there was a little debate, but, you know, once he got Goodrum out, um, I, you know, and kind of trying to stay away from low and, and not having Greeny today, um, you know, obviously we had our lefties down there ahead of Chappie. Um, I, I definitely wanted him to at least come out and face Ramos to start that inning. And then, you know, I was kind of going batter to batter at that point. And, uh, you know, he just, you know, he, he kind of, he just – really pitched his way through that, you know, final two innings where I was probably go probably a hitter away from from going to the pen, but uh, you know, he just kept staying off the barrel. So and, and I felt like wasn't losing anything at that point either. Take a final one from Randy Miller. Aaron, uh, on the Astros, Dusty Baker a couple weeks ago pleaded for visiting fans to Stop heckling the team. Uh, some things were thrown on the field. Uh, do you understand why Yankee fans and other teams haven't let this go yet, that there were no fans last year and that fans are still angry? Do, do you get that? I know that you guys have to focus on winning the game, but from a fan's standpoint. I mean, fans are going to heckle, and, and, you know, there's obviously there's no place for, you know, throwing things on the field or, you know, anytime you're putting anyone in danger, that's, there's just no place for that. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, that not only doesn't happen, but certainly will not be tolerated. And, and so, you know, <clears throat> fans are, you know, they have the right to come and, you know, cheer and say what they want. And, but, you know, anytime there's stuff going on the field, that's, that's very much crossing a line.